Osruf in Poland hosted KSW 74, and it was a masterclass in matchmaking. We had some brilliant, brilliant bouts tonight, didn't we, guys? Amazing evening, you know what? Packed house, amazing arena, I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, all the way along the card, it was exciting, but one of the big, big events tonight was Tommy Romanowski when he took on Kenchik, and Tomanowski went up a weight to do it. Boy, was this a clash right from the get-go. A lot of questions about this fight. You know, Romanovsky missing weight last time, but he took out Andrzej Jabik in devastating fashion. Cesare Kenchik presented some new questions, I thought. The inside chop from the very beginning, you know. Kenchik just seemed to really have his number, Soshinsky, but Romanovsky was timing that left, and boy, when it landed, it was game over. No, I agree with you. I, th I think Romanovsky needed a few minutes to kind of get used to this new weight division. You know what I mean? Someone a little bit bigger, someone a little bit stronger. But when you get into a swinging match with Romanovsky, you know what happens right here, exactly what happens. Lights out just like that, and we have a bona fide new superstar in the middleweight division. I mean, Tommy Romanovsky is like a Kevlar rhino. He just goes forward. There's no reverse gear in Romanovsky's vocabulary at all. I mean, he really is four-wheel drive, and tonight he proved that. And Kenchik is no mean feat. That is not a cake to be walked. But tonight, Romanovsky was on fire, and he was absolutely devastating. Well, you know, we had some big, big hitters in town. Next up on the list, guys, what was the uh, co-main event like? It was heavyweights, man. It was so much fun. It was a rematch. Kita came in, he took on Stosic, and there were a lot of questions about that fight, right? People weren't sure whether or not Stosic was lucky. I thought it was great timing. Kita showed a more evolved game plan, though, this time. He looked a much better fighter. Absolutely. And in this case, you know what? It was two rounds that we went to, but making that walk, having the perfect game plan, getting so much of it right, it didn't count in the end. No, it was the perfect game plan by Kita, just the way it started with that kick down the middle, right? The uppercuts, the, the leg kicks, just throwing off Stoshic off his game. But Stoshic is Stoshic. This is the way he fights. And what happens when he fights like this, eventually he's going to find his mark. And he did find his mark. Well, listen, it must have been hugely disappointing for Kita because it was picture perfect, everything he did. You take a snapshot of every one of those strikes and they were all perfectly executed and perfectly designed. And the strategy was there. He had that front kick through the middle, which was, was actually a Mike Gary. It wasn't a front teep, it was a karate kick. And it caused lots of problems for Stosic. I mean, his nose was glowing red right from the beginning. And Kita did everything perfectly. However, Stosic, I mean, even while we were commentating, I kept saying, don't upset this guy, because he's going to get mad. And that's exactly what Stosic did. I mean, there was nothing. Kita was knocking on the door, knocking on the door, knocking on the door, and no one was in. Suddenly, Stosic came home and he opened the front door and he let loose. I mean, it was absolutely devastating. Tonight, we saw an incredible display by the longest reigning KSW world champion, Sunderland's own Phil de Vries from the UK, the longest reigning heavyweight and indeed the longest reigning champion in KSW history. And he took on Ricardo Prezel, who I actually thought had a fighter's chance in this fight because he's full of surprises and he's just got that incredible ability to cause an upset. But we saw as things unfolded, de Vries was just awesome. There was so much talk in the run-up to this fight. DePriest promised a convincing finishing performance. Purcell promised that he would get the finish. We saw what we wanted to see in the end. We saw two great grapplers for MMA, very different approaches, face off. It looked like Purcell had some opportunity. He played deep half, he was able to recover guard, but Phil wore him down. The punches and then the short choke opening up. I mean, it's just a tremendous opportunistic, a new level from Phil DeFries to me. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got a practice chance against Phil DeFries until he gets on top of you. Then you're pretty much done. And this is exactly what happened with uh, Purcell. Uh, no chance there whatsoever, even though he did try a few sweeps and, and things like that. But once, once Phil DeFries gets on top of you, he's a bear and you're not going anywhere. Well, you know, Phil DeFries' style is known for being attritional. What he does is he uses that weight so perfectly. I mean, it's like having 10 duvets on you with the central heating turned up. He just smothers you, and he's like molten lava from a volcano. He gradually, gradually creeps up till he consumes you. And I thought Ricardo Prezel was working well, working off the left and the right with the low kick. But tonight, Phil DeFries, who is motivated now hugely by his family, and we've seen that as a motivation 
motivation in what he does. Tonight, De Vries, no nonsense, first round, just went in and strangled Prezel. That was it. I can't wait to see what's next to this guy, right? Record-breaking title defense, most significant strikes in heavyweight history. And you know what? Stosic, although he looked good, I don't know if he's got what it takes. I think Pujan, maybe, 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 maybe. He's called for it. Let's do it. I'm looking forward to that one. Well, I think in this division, the only person that's left now is Pujanovsky. So, you know, we could see that, but we'll have to wait. Till then, keep still watching KSW because we're here every month. 75 is coming up and we're so excited about the matchups and the new talent that's come into the KSW arena. You've got to stay with us. I'm the Sensei Will Vanders. I'm the guru, Chris Hoekstra. Christoph Soszynski. The Polish experiment. Yep. <laughs> Till the next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Oos. Oos. <laughs>